Hi everyone, we meet again on the session 4 for module 9. We are going to discuss about the robustness check, the results of the random effect model, GMM, and split sample. So the section goes, students will be able to understand robustness check, conclusions, limitations, and suggestions. And this module, we are going to focus on the research, uh, the robustness check for RAM, GMM, and split sample. So the robustness check it is a test to conduct it, uh, to check the consistency of the results. If the results are consistent with the main model, hence the results are robust and unbiased. So we employed a random effect model, generalized method of moments, and sp sp split sample as robustness check. Here are the results for random effect model and GMM results for return of Bitcoin as well as the return for Ethereum. Consistent directions from the results were revealed across different economics, econometrics models, hence our REM and GMM estimations were robust among most of the independent variables toward Bitcoin and Ethereum returns. It means that the results are consistent with the panel ARDL results. And then we conduct with the split sample using vaccination threshold. If the, con uh, if the results are also consistent, therefore the results are also robust. Split sample is also one of way to check the robustness. It is conducted based on the vaccination threshold. We use the Pfizer as the vaccine bench benchmark of vaccines. And the first four months were considered as the vaccination threshold because booster vaccination or third dose can be considered at the four to six months upon primary vaccinations. Uh, therefore, the split sample period spans from 18 March 2021 to 18 July 2021. An ARDL panel was applied due to the mixed stationarity, the same model with the previous one, and these uh, results only focus on the long run results. Here's the results for split sample, the BTC, as well as for the Ethereum. The outcome of the split sample also validated our prior entire test. The coefficients of entire independent variables were consistently showing the same signs with the full samples, exemption only for sentiment index to the Bitcoin. However, the split sample evidence showed statistic statistically insignificant results in VCI and GFI to Bitcoin. We can uh, uh, this, sub, this sample splitting can lead to weaker predictive power due to the reduction of sample size. Only panic index implied significant results for both Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is because within a short period, the investor highly rely, relied on the news for their investment decisions making. And the last but not least, blockchain feature were all statistically significant for Bitcoin and Ethereum, which means these features are the natural characteristic of cryptocurrencies that cannot be neglected. So we move forward to the quiz. Blah 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 was considered as the vaccination threshold. A. The last four months. B. The first four months. C. The last six months. D. The first six months. So. Here's the end of our uh, module today. Please refer to these publications and see you on the last module next session.